and welcome back to Mama to Two Howries. Today on Y'all Need Ducking Jesus is five ungrateful children. And I love the meme. It's like, smile for a picture and like speaking with your your teeth like still and one day you'll have selfish and ungrateful children of your own. And this quote, stop being ungrateful. No matter how good or bad you have it, wake up each day thankful for your life. Someone somewhere else is desperately fighting for theirs. Instead of thinking about what you're missing, try thinking about what you have that everyone else is missing. And these children need to learn. So let's get into it with our first one. Okay, number one. Anyone out here gonna help a girl out? Please, can someone buy me a new 4K TV? My parents got me a $500 TV for Christmas, so I broke it in front of them because it's not good enough. If you be rude in DMs, you're getting blocked. Thank you. Next. And she's got her little hashtag help me out and... Her white send help flag. You know what she will have? No TV. That's what she will get. This is unacceptable. And she ducking needs Jesus. Thought that it was just kids. And like the U.S. and stuff that are ungrateful? Nope. Apparently, there are ungrateful kids in northern India. Arrogant son pushes BMW given to him into river because he wanted a Jaguar. Son pushes BMW into the river because he wanted his parents to buy him a Jaguar. In northern India, a man known locally by Akash is said to have pushed his new BMW into a river because he was upset that the vehicle was too small. The luxury car had to be pulled out over the river with a crane, and police have opened an investigated investigation into the matter. Well, sounds like... Uh, He's going to have to pay off some things before he gets that car that he was wanting. I hope he has a bike because that's what he would be using to ride. Otherwise, he's got two feet. Ungrateful. Coming in at number three, on the Reddit, am I the asshole? Am I the asshole for breaking my switch because I didn't get the game I wanted? Uh, yeah, you are, kid. There will be no games or electronics in your future. Because you apparently don't know how to take care of them. Unacceptable. And he needs ducking Jesus. How dare my dying father live out the rest of his life is coming in at number four. And it's not just little kids. It's not just teenagers. Here we have adult children. Hello, I am here for advice 
and to vent. My dad sold his company for four mil and recently was diagnosed with cancer. Okay. That's, that's horrible. But does the kid care about that? No. He was told he would only have a few years left to live. He has chosen to go back to college to further his education before he passes. Waste of money is what the kid thinks. He also has booked a cruise around the world that is non-refundable. <gasps> oh my God. How dare he take a vacation after working to build a company that's worth a lot of money. I feel like he is blowing through all the money that I'm entitled to. Entitled. They think that they are entitled to this money. Because why? What did you do to be owed this money? That I am entitled to in my inheritance. Parents owe it to their children to leave sizable nest egg after they pass, and I want what's mine. How should I stop him from blowing through all my money? All my money. Um, I don't remember this kid saying that, uh, they worked for anything. Sounds like he thinks that he's owed whatever he wants because he was born wealthy. That That's not how it works. And yeah, maybe he is blowing through all of his money because he doesn't want to leave it to you. He can't take it with him. Maybe you should have been more grateful. Then maybe he would leave you with something more. I hope he left him with zero dollars. And a good quote here, never be worth more dead than alive. There's so many true crime stories that go along with this type of stuff too. All right, let's move on to our last one. And finally, number five. This one takes the cake. My daughter stabbed me because I got her an iPhone X instead of an iPhone XS Max. What should I do? Um, seriously? You, you take the phone away. No phone. Yeah, no, she doesn't need one. She's not going to be calling anybody anytime soon. She's not going anywhere. And seriously, it's a year difference. The X came out in November of 2017. The XS came out in October of 2018. That's not that big of a difference. And they're a child. My guess is she doesn't work. And she stabbed you. I think you have bigger problems than her getting a phone that she wants as a, as opposed to she even got her one period and an iPhone at that. You could have gotten her a flip phone. You could have gotten her a pay as you go. Um, I have a Nokia 360 brick still uh, somewhere around here. She can have that. Uh, no. Maybe file a police report. There's a lot of things you can be doing. But her and a phone is not one of those things. She ducking needs Jesus. And you need to get her to church. Have her open the Bible. Maybe read some things. Maybe start with honor thy father and mother. Uh, that 
that's a good starting point. This child has problems. And I don't even want to know what she's like as an adult. All right, guys, that is it for this week's episode of Y'all Ducking Me Jesus. If you have any ideas for any more of these, you can email me suggestions or you can uh, DM me on Twitter. Those will be linked in the description box below and I will see you next week. Bye.